This lecture is about the circular seating arrangement questions. In circular seating arrangement questions, we are given certain conditions through which we have to identify that in a circle, some people that are sitting, what is the style in which they are sitting, which means who is sitting next to who? What position is someone sitting at? These questions are really interesting to solve if you have good practice on that. Let's understand a few basics here. First of all, instead of thinking that the left or the right in the question paper is according to the question paper, think of yourself sitting in the circle. When you are sitting in the circle, what is your left or right becomes the questions left or right. What I mean is, suppose if the question says, that A is sitting to the right of B, okay? Then imagine yourself in the place of A and then think, where is your right? When you're sitting in place of A, this is your right, so B must be sitting this way, okay? Now, some people like to go through the clockwise, anti-clockwise direction and if the question asks you that, then you know what is clockwise. Clockwise is if this is your clock, then this is clockwise motion and if you are talking about anti-clockwise motion, then this is anti-clockwise motion. So if you take a look at this, actually moving towards your left is clockwise motion, moving towards the left is the clockwise motion. Moving towards your right is the anti-clockwise motion, right? These are the two major things that you need to know of. First of all, imagine yourself in the circle and then think of what is left or right. And if you are worried about clockwise or anti-clockwise, then think this is clockwise, imagine the clock. Or if you want it in left and right, then left is clockwise, right is anti-clockwise. Now, let's try and map these conditions on this circular seating arrangement. A is to the right of B, C is directly opposite to B. Okay. Why don't we assume that this is B? We can assume this, there is no problem in this because this is circular seating arrangement. So B can be sitting anywhere, we'll just rotate it like that. Okay. Assume that B is sitting over here. Now, it is given to us that C is directly opposite to B. So, this will be C, directly opposite. Now, B is sitting two places left to E, F is sitting two places left to D. Okay. This means, if E is here, then there is a gap on E's left and then you have B sitting there and F is sitting two places left to D, which means B is left, one place is left, uh, one place is empty and you have F here. So this is the arrangement that these two conditions provide. G is in between A and C. Now this is given to us, G is in between A and C. This is clear in that C and A have just one person in between them. So let's see where is A. A is to the right of B. Okay. So now let's assume that we are sitting at the place of B. So we are sitting in this way. Now our right is in this way. Okay. This direction we have our right. So A must be sitting here, here or here. This statement tells us that G is in between A and C. Thus A is here and G is here. Right? Now take a look at this. E, then E is left, one place, after that you have D, then again one place, then you have F, which means, let's see where we can fit all of this. If E is here, okay, then E is here, this is E is left, okay, this side is E is left, then this should be, let's say this is C, we don't mind that, but this should be D, which is not true. So E cannot be here. Let's have E here. Then this place is 
fine we have no problems with that this should be d which is not true again okay so we assume e to be here then forget about this place we have d here then okay then this place we can forget about it this should be f which is not true again our assumption is incorrect so the last place remaining is this now e then to its left we leave one place the next place is d then we leave one place the next place is f this fills up our complete circle except for one position so whatever questions now get asked to you you can answer them based on this arrangement that you have created this is how you solve circular seating arrangement questions move on to the practice sheet best of luck